Okay, good morning. And for today's video, we're going to solve quadratic equation by extracting square root. Okay, so we have extracting square roots. Before we start, try to go over with these numbers. Okay, what can you say about these numbers? We have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. So, as you can see, these numbers are perfect squares numbers. Okay, why are they perfect square? If you're going to look at the factor of these numbers, now the root of this number, we multiply the root by itself. Let's say, for example, in 1, this is 1 times 1. Okay. For 4, the root is equal to 2. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 9, we have 3 times 3. 16, we have 4 times 4. And for 25, 5 times 5. 6 times 6. And so on, we have 7 times 7, 8 times 8, and 9 times 9, then 10 times 10. Okay, so we call this number a perfect square number. Okay, why are these numbers important? Why do we have to know a perfect square number? This is very important in applying solving square root okay now we can express this number as perfect square like 1 times 1 is 1 squared 2 times 2 is 2 squared 3 times 3 is 3 squared and so on so we have 4 squared we have 5 squared 6 squared 7 squared, 8 squared, 9 squared, and 10 squared. So this mean is 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5, 6 times 6, 7 times 7, 8 times 8, 9 times 9, and 10 times 10. For example, we have a perfect square number four now how do we extract the root of this number so we have square root of four now square root of four is equal to two and two is the root of square root of four okay let's try to simplify that so we have square root of four the factor of four is two times two or this is square root of 2 squared. Now, how are we going to eliminate the radical sign n? This squared or this perfect square, this exponent, okay? So, we're going to have square root of 2 squared, going to cancel that, this. So, this is equal to 2. So, this is the root of square root of 4. Okay, another example is 9. So we have square root of 9 is the same as square root of 3 times 3. So this is square root of 3 squared. Okay, so we can eliminate that. So it's equal to 3. So that is the root. Okay, another example. We have 16. So let's say, for example, we have 16. So 16, square root of 16 is equal to 4 times 4. So we have 4 squared. Okay, so we can eliminate that. So this is equal to 4 and so on. Okay. How about 81? We have square root of 81 is equal to square root of 9 times 9 or 
this is square root of 9 squared. So we can have that is equal to 9. Now, let's try to answer this problem. Find the square root. Okay, what is the square root of 16? So this is equal to 4. Now what about number 2? Number 2, you have negative square root of 25. So we have the negative sign before the number. So this is equal to negative 5. What about number 3? Square root of 49. This is equal to 7. Number 4, again, look at the sign. So this is negative 8. What about number 5? Square root of 121 is 11. Square negative square root of 289 is equal to 17. Square root of 0 0.16 is equal to 0 0.4. Positive negative square root of 36 is equal to positive and negative 6. Square root of 16 over 25 is equal to 4 over 5. You have to take the square root of 16 and then the square root of 25. Okay. Then for number 10, we have positive and negative. What is the square root of 69? So this is 13 over the square root of 256. Now what is the square root of 256? That is equal to 16. So we have 13 over 16. Now you can check your answer using your calculator. Now, as you go through with the lesson, now you might ask yourself, how many square roots does a number have? Okay, so let's say for example, square root of 25. Okay, now square root of 25 is equal to 5. Now, for square root of 25, if we have positive 5 multiplied by positive 5, this will give us 25. Now, square root of 25 is equal to 5. Now, what about if we have negative 5 times negative 5? Now, negative 5 times negative 5 is also equal to positive 25. Okay. So, we can say that the square root of square root of 25 is equal to positive and negative 5. So, at most, the square root of a number, it has two possible roots. Okay, like square root of 25 is equal to positive and negative 5. Okay, another example, you have square root of 49. Square root of 49 is equal to 7. And we can say that positive 7 times positive 7 is equal to 49. Likewise, negative 7 times negative 7 is also equal to 49. So we have positive and negative. So we have positive and negative. So the answer will be positive 7 and negative 7. So it has two possible roots. We have two possible roots. Okay. Now, another question that you might ask is, does a negative number have a square root and why? So let's say, for example, we have square root of negative 36. Now, square root of negative 36 is not equal to negative square root of 36 so these are two different numbers okay so what is the square root of negative 36 now even though the number is a perfect square no negative 36 square root of negative 36 it has no real root so it has no real root okay now, what about negative square root of 36? Negative square root of 36, because the sign is outside this radical sign, it does not affect the number inside the radical sign. So, we have negative square root of 36 is equal to 
6. So we have a different situation. If the number is negative 36 and negative square root of 36. Okay, another example. So we have square root of negative 81. Square root of negative 81 still has no real root. You can also check your calculator. No? If you have square root of negative numbers, it has no real root. Okay? And for negative square root of 81, this will give us negative 9. Okay. Okay.